everybody, and welcome to the Hogwash Center, where the undefeated Hair Belly Hammerheads take on your winless and pathetic Pork Belly Ice Pigs. <laughs> Big crowd on hand tonight for what should be a very super duper exciting and totally painful night for the Ice Pigs. Hammerhead breakaway, he shoots, he's scared, he scores, and he's hurt. I am doing great tonight. Three helmets, a goalie glove, and a referee. Now if the Ice Pigs could just score a goal. Let's go, Ice Pigs! Ah! 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 Oh, the crowd of two is really getting into it. Do that? It's hockey, Johnny. Since when are the rules? Run! Ah! Turbo protection getaway mode. They poke fun at your sisters a lot, but they do make a nice armored bike. Now, if they could only help me make a decent hockey team. Thomas Edison experiment commencing. Experiment fail. Ew! I'm not eating that. We need Edison's original plans on accelerated veggie growth. This book apparently left out some details. Susan! Mally! You've gotta help us! Whoa! Who busted a grumpy? Don't look at me. I know usually it is me, but this time, doggy no go. Actually, Johnny, we're recreating one of the lost inventions of Thomas Edison, the electric lettuce accelerator. And yet you wonder why you don't have a social life. When you plug these electrodes into common soil, you can grow a head of lettuce in less than 10 seconds. It's the microwave popcorn of salads. Yeah, but it's a salad, not popcorn. Is there something we can do for you? Yeah, the ice pigs are getting their pucks kicked and I want to help them win a game before they move the team to Florida and change their name to the Sun Pigs. And at the end of the first period, it's the Hammerheads 10 and the future Florida Sun Pigs 0. You don't suppose this Edison dude invented an electric hockey winning thing, do you? It's highly unlikely that you'd find one of his hockey inventions in that book. But you could always go back in time and ask him yourself with... The Turbo Tea House Time Machine! It's a little girly, don't you think? Yeah, but Dad doesn't suspect it's a time machine. Now, I'll set the coordinates for Edison's lab about a hundred years ago. Just pick up the original plans for the lettuce accelerator. Then ask him about his great hockey inventions that will help your hapless ice poodles. Ice pigs! If we hurry, we can make it back before the end of the game. <laughs> now, if you get lost, just consult this history book. And pull the creamer to make it go. You mean this thing here? Who are you? What are you doing here? We've just come from the future. In that thing? It's a little girly, don't you think? Yeah, just show us the hockey inventions. Don't have them. But I do have the electric lettuce accelerator. It will increase our food supply and wipe out hunger. Yeah, well, I'm from the future, pal, and what we're really hungry for is accelerated nachos. Nachos. Hmm. Come on, didn't you ever invent a magic hockey stick or an auto-scoring puck? Mr. Edison, it's an honor to meet you. Your inventions have contributed so much to modern society and... Hey, what's this do? Yeah, I just blew up Thomas Edison! What? Now how am I gonna help the ice pigs? I think he's breathing. Don't sweat it. Says here he doesn't die for another 20 years but he mysteriously walked with a limp from this day forth. Oh, that's not so bad. Mr. Edison, <gasps> is everything all right? Yeah, uh, I'm fine. I just invented smoking hair. Carry on. Run! I got the plans, let's go! Yank the creamer! Let's go back to
to the present and forget all about this time thing. But what about the ice pigs? We need to help them. Let's face it, Johnny. I don't think the toughest guys in history can help the ice pigs. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out. You hit rock and cave. Ow! <laughs> Great. You'll play defense. Hmm? He's trying to eat my leg! Settle down, you two, or I will turn this girly tea house around. Is there someone named Attila the Hun? I heard he's a big wuss. <laughs> Vikings, Vikings. <laughs> We're back. Here are your plans. Gotta go. Fight. Um, who are these guys? Well, he's a caveman. He's a mongrel warrior. That guy's a Viking. Black Knight over there. And my man here is Attila the Hunt. Johnny, those are the most violent warriors and savages from all recorded history. No, they are the new Ice Pigs hockey team. Dad's precious meatloaf collection. Johnny, do something. Oh, all right, I'll talk to him. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something really important. Hockey. See, we all have dreams. Vikings, you want to sack villages. Huns, Mongols, you want to take over the world. And the caveman, well, don't worry, friend. Evolution's on the way. The point is, we all have dreams. And if one of our dreams comes true, it should be mine, because I got you all together. So let's win one for the Ice Pigs! Huh? Great! You inspired them to stop beating up the lawn and beat us up instead! It's part of the plan. There's still time left in the game. Come on! And with just two minutes left in the game, there's absolutely no way the pathetic Ice Pigs can win this one. Ooh, it looks like the Ice Pigs have made a line change with bigger and hairier players. The Hammerheads look confused. Now they look hurt. Oh, it's a pig pile on the Ice Pig. Who breaks away? The puck is loose. He shoots. He scores! But can the Ice Pigs pull off an amazing comeback? It's working. The only thing missing now is a disgustingly yummy, sporty snack food. How about a salad? From Thomas Edison's greatest undiscovered invention, before he got his famous limp, the electric lettuce accelerator. Nachos? It makes nachos? It doesn't get any better than this. Hey, buddy, try the nachos. Huh? Want me to do what? Clean your room. I have a very important client coming over to dinner tomorrow night. But it's not like he's having dinner in my room. Is he? 
No, but this place is starting to smell, and your dad is a little wound up about playing host tomorrow night. Uh, I can see my reflection, but it's not crystal clear! He's been having nightmares for weeks. Just try to make the house exactly the way he wants it. When was the last time you cleaned your room? There was no last time. I think I've broken through that layer of petrified pizza boxes! I'm going to save these for the museum! I think I hit carpet! Huh, so that's what color it is. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, but that might be. Honey, the place looks perfect. Uh, well, look on the bright side. My room is clean. No more of those horrible nightmares. The house looks great. Oh, it's not just that. I wish I could redecorate this entire place. I've kept a notebook by the bed for years, filling it with home improvement and design ideas for my dream house. But I guess it'll always be just a dream. I'm heading to the airport to pick up Mr. Sperling. Great! I'm running across town to grab some ingredients for what will be the best dinner for my wife's client ever! Come on, Susan and Mary are waiting. Waiting? For what? This notebook is filled with ideas for Dad's dream house. We're gonna build it for him. Johnny, your parents will be back in two hours. We don't even have enough time to read that book. Oh. We don't have to read it. We don't? Of course not. The computer will scan the notebook and download it to our team of robotic construction drones. Sweet. Awesome. Dad's going to get the house of his dreams, and Mom's client is going to be super impressed. Johnny, have you actually looked through this book? There's some weird decorating ideas in here. Like what? Well, like having a living room floor made of quicksand. Maybe it's some new design trend, but it's what Dad wants. Notebook to create your dream house. My design notebook? Sure. You know, the notebook you keep by your bed? Johnny, this is not my design notebook. Say what? This is a dream journal, which means you built me my nightmare house! That's right, your fully electronic nightmare house comes complete with Scary Cave Basement, the Stairway of Horrors, Holographic Vampires, and more. Well, that definitely explains the quicksand floors. The what? Ah! Oh, Johnny, are you trying to tell me that this entire house has been refurbished based on every nightmare I've had for the last two weeks? Yeah, that's right. And your mom is about to bring home. Mr. Sperling, please let me take your coat. Why, thank you, Lila. I... Ah! Ah! <laughs> that quicksand is... Yeah, help! Help! Hold your nose. According to these blueprints, this should drop us down into the scary cave base. Movement! What is going on here? Oh, uh, Mr. Sperling, we just wanted to give you a complete tour of our happy home. This is the cave. Go. Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> are the centipedes gone? Please tell me they're gone! And this is my husband. Uh, our best chance is to cut the power. There's a central switchboard in the cesspool vault. The what? Your room. Oh, right. Here, Mr. Sperling, let us show you the rest of the place. And that's where we keep our pets, uh, uh cats! <laughs> Run! Ah! I feel much better. We need to go back that way. It's okay, honey. It's just steps. There's nothing here. Please, no. Not them! Not the stay-at-home dad clowns! Ah! Wow, your dad has issues. Uh, this cannot be happening! I'm going for the circuit breaker! I would say this, but thank goodness for dirty underwear. The house should be back to normal in about an hour. Uh, what about Mr. Sperling? Oh, he should be fine once he comes to. I can't imagine how I'm going to explain all this to him. But I can. Well, here we are. <sighs> Ah, ah, spiders! Monsters! Clowns with aprons! Ah, ah. Where am I? What happened? Oh, you must be exhausted, Mr. Sperling. You fell asleep on the way home from the airport. I had the most horrifying nightmare. Nothing my husband's home cooking can't fix. Listen, Dad, I'm sorry about all this. I just wanted you to have your dream house. I already do, Johnny. I realized that today. Now come help me whip up a quick dinner that'll wow Mr. Sperling. Uh, one more thing, Dad. Can we keep the quicksand floor? Johnny, please. Come on, you have to admit the quicksand floors are pretty cool. The Nightmare House. Super funny ending not included. <laughs>